Hello and welcome back to Spit Yo Yo Mafias, aka the Lemons um, Replay Analysis. So this time I'll be using the um, Tier 6 Chinese Tank Destroyer, the WZ-131 um, GFT. I have quite a few of these um, Ace Tankers to show, so I'll be showing quite a few of these in a row. And then um, I'll be finishing off with the Object 140. And after that we'll be moving on to any new replays that I may get in the future. So looking at this game, the first thing we're gonna talk about is team composition. So once again, we have the artillery. Of course we do, we always do. <laughs> Welcome to World of Tanks 2020, where like 80 to 90% of your games are bottom tier with three artillery, enjoy. But um, anyways, being more serious and less sarcastic, the first thing that we can notice is that um, we're on this terrible map. Um, this map is awful, but you, know, you deal with it, right? So we don't have a turret so what I don't like doing is I don't like going up here you get spotted really easily and you get killed really easily from this position so I generally tend to do other things like for example if I have a turret I might fight up here or something like that and you know something more useful unfortunately um, for us there's three artilleries and we we don't have a turret so we're not going to do that anyway um one thing i do want to mention about this map um if you've never seen like someone actually analyze a map for you i'll do it for you here this is useless you see all this right here useless literally put like one or two tanks here and it's very very easy to deal with and it's very very easy to defend so you're going to watch me um i believe i did defend this and no one went here this is literally one of the most useless locations you want to win the game you win it from up here if they start trying to push here guess what you can take shots at them from here people here can keep putting pressure on here so that way they can't shoot people here who are shooting them so that's the way you're supposed to do it right so, and if you're artillery and you're in this situation, sit back here where you won't be spotted and stuff. Don't sit, like, over here. I think this artillery stays over there, and that's pretty stupid. But, um, you're going to see how we, um, deal with that. Literally, think about what you have to gain. Let's say you take this. Okay, you just took this. You got some bushes here, and then you got nothing but field. Congratulations, you now have to drive across the field to do anything. Same thing goes for here. You take this location, you got a few bushes down here, and it's a bunch of field. So basically, if the enemy isn't even here, you're not going to be able to shoot anything, you have to drive across. But if they're predicting that you're going to drive across, guess what? Then they can show up, and I do this all the time, they can start shooting you. So it, it's, you gain nothing from here. So usually when I spawn here, I either go up here or I go in the city. You can actually see people from here too, and you can shoot them from here. Usually I have like one or two allies that at least come up this way, and then you can you now go help them. So pro tip from a good player, don't go this way. Waste of time. This This whole flank is a waste of time. It's not worth it. You gain nothing. Now, if you want to push, take this position, and then come down and push up here, you can do that. Like, you can 100% come here, keep them busy, and then if you kill them off, come this way. That's another option you can do, but just push, keep pushing. It's a terrible option. Don't do that. Um, but I would just recommend you not go here at all because this is literally this part of the map is useless because um, let's say you do choose to come up here and you don't want to come over here then you'll be over here this is going to prevent them from just you know, pushing through here right because you can see them coming down you'll be able to shoot them and so on and so forth so that's why you um, don't go to that side of the map but I'm um, continuing on with this replay uh, let's see how this kind of how many heavy tanks they have because that's gonna like I said, usually I think about these things um, quickly, but you do need to recognize this. So they got one, two, three, four, five heavy tanks, right? At least five. So they're going to be over here. So we know there's at least five heavies over here. And um, you can see they do have medium tanks and light tanks. They're probably going to go over here. So what, I'm, what I want to do is I'm just going to ignore this because being back here is death and there's three already so why would i want to go back here i'm instead gonna come over here this will give me shots i still get to shoot at people coming over here but it's gonna be really hard to spot me and then i can get shots at people who are coming over here and i believe um that's what you're gonna see me do Okay, I did decide to stay up here first. I wouldn't do that. I'd just come back here, to be honest. If you're trying to shoot these guys, just come back here. It's safer. It's better. Um, I believe, I think I was just deciding on what to do. I don't think I stayed up here. Um, because I also saw that he was up here, and I started thinking to myself, you know what, I don't have that kind of gun depression anyway, so why even stay over here? If you don't have a tank to show a gun depression, like I said, just, just go back here. I 
then you see I, I started thinking about it and I was like you know what this is a terrible idea let's just go over here <laughs> literally I, like I started like I'm talking about it now and you see I started thinking about it in the game and I'm like yeah let's not go over here let's go over here instead so yeah, just keep in mind you can be here you can be here I would recommend being over here this is a better position you're safer and you can still take shots over here and you can probably get some shots over here too depending on where you go you can choose you can choose to be back here this would be good you can see our medium tanks are just bending this flank because this flank is useless now a good position that you can take is this bush right here this will let you shoot those guys up there honestly I would suggest recommend being back here back here is like more than far enough away tank destroyers have enough camo that you can get away with it just being back there artillery is like the chance of artillery blind firing you over here is almost zero percent they don't blind fire over here they're gonna look for um shots over there so even if you get spotted over here artillery is probably not gonna be prepared for that um if i do come over here then i'm gonna be looking for shots on this ridge line So you can see what I can see right here. I'll be looking in the city, um, possibly looking over here. This is why this position is pretty good, especially when the team's not over here. I'll be able to see what's happening over here, and I'll be able to um, get shots on anyone over here as well. But really, if you come to this position, if you want to shoot up there, go over here. If you want to shoot kind of up here, but you really want to watch the city in this area right here, this is a really good bush to be in. Um, do keep in mind that if you come to this position, anyone pushing over here will spot you. So you do need to keep in mind this is a danger zone. Usually people don't push over here because this is an open field, but sometimes people do. Um, honestly, it's going to be really hard to shoot anyone in the city because there's destructible objects you won't really be able to see. If you're trying to shoot someone in the city, you won't be able to aim at them. You have to actually zoom out and you have to look at them like this and see if the reticle is red. If they're uh, tank highlights, then you're going to want to shoot at them. You might have to destroy something first that's in front of them. And it is what it is. And you can see there, you do have shots on people who do poke over, so you're not completely, like, useless in this position. It's just you won't be able to shoot people who are, like, poking here. Then you'll need some TDs over here or something. Or, even better, just if you're really trying to get shots over there, I would not recommend being here. I'd recommend being over here. Now I'm just, I just have to be patient. There's not a whole lot I can do here. <laughs> I mean, like I said, this is another ace tanker, so the action will pick up shortly. It just takes a while. And you're going to see why um, this bottom position right here is useless in a moment. You're going to see why it's not worth anything. Literally nothing. So you see most of our team... Okay, take take a look at where our light tanks and medium tanks are. They're not even like like they're not even pushing like over here. They're like right here. So I think they've been spotted and shot at too. At least that T seventy one has been and he's been shot by already, so they've been spotted. So with them spotted, they know that they're not over here. He's over here watching this um this line for us. He's making sure no one's pushing. He's doing a really good job by being here. It will probably suck because he'll get YOLO'd, but him being here tells us that they're coming. And we, we're going to be paying attention to that, and we're going to react to that. What I would tell you, if what I would do instead of doing with the enemy team pushing forward right now, I would make two options. I would check to see if anyone's in the city, but you can see everyone's spotted except TDs, right? So they've literally seen everyone except the TDs. You can guess that the TDs are probably going to be in this area as well. This means we probably don't own this part of the map, right? And if we don't own the city, don't push around here, go into the city. So. The enemy played this really poorly by pushing this line instead of going up into the city. 
And then they also have a lot of holdown tanks, I believe. Like, this is a holdown tank. Um, no, most of the others aren't holdown. But they can definitely support, you know. They can do something. And they can get shots over here, especially if they go to the city. So, don't push here. Go city. If you see no one's here and you see everyone's over here or something like that, go city. Don't push. And you see, I know that this dude is spotted now. Okay, I, I he's been spotted for a while. I know that he's spotted. I'm just being patient. So now you see someone really close to spin spotted, and you're gonna see me take note of that. And I'm like, it's time to go over here and start shutting them down. Yes, I am firing APCR. Once again, I'm I'm sniping people. I'm shooting light tanks. I will tell you this: if you're shooting light tanks, load APCR. It's not about the penetration, dog. It's about not having to lead your shots on tanks going 60 plus kilometers per hour. Load that APCR. Do not be worried about it. So here I have to move a bit closer so I can see them. But like I said, someone can come up this way. So I think someone did come up this way, but I'm pretty sure someone could definitely... One of these dudes had to have come up this way and be like, let's check to see if they're on the city. Because all you can see all of our tanks. The chance of us owning the city is extremely slim, so someone had to come up that way. So I don't really have a shot on them, but I'll take it anyway. Shot not taken and shot that's missed. So, take the shot, right? The OI looks like he's come out a little bit, but I'm not too worried about it. Because to shoot him, I'm, I guarantee I'm going to have to destroy something, right? Oh no, I got shots on him. Well, I, I end up hitting something I had to destroy anyway. <laughs> I couldn't tell if I could hit him or not there. And why waste a shot you don't know it's going to hit when these guys are pushing, right? So, eh, here we go. T43, this dude can spot me. So I don't have camo net. I don't use camo net on the tank. There's no point. Um, actually, I'll take that back. There is a point depending on how you want to play this tank. If you want to play this tank as a sniper, then yes, use the camo net. However, you're probably going to have to trade out like your vents, you know, and you're going to have to use Binox instead of your vents. But this tank has really good DPM. I have like 2.5k DPM. I am using bounty um, vents and bounty rammer. So that really does boost my DPM by a lot. You can see his health. I can kill like three or four of this guy per minute. So yeah, I want the DPM, right? And you see here I got spotted. You know who spotted me? I'm not paying it. I didn't um, notice this guy was here. Had I noticed this guy was here, I would have moved over here sooner. Because this guy is definitely the one who spotted me. Look at how close he is. So here I know I'm spotted. I just took the extra shot because it took him forever to aim at me. And then you'll notice I give zero fucks here. The reason why I give zero fucks, one, I'm going to make myself a harder target to hit. And two, this guy, I know he can see me. Like, there's no way. Like, he, okay, he's not poked up right now. But yeah, that dude definitely could do that. And you can see that our team was just waiting for them to do this. As soon as he noticed that, he pushed over here. He's like, "Hey, right, time to start clipping people." That's what. This is what happens when you do this. Look at how exposed they are. You are so exposed right now. Don't do this. Oh, you, you see what happened there? Like, I got shot at by Artie. Imagine if I took my time going down that hill. I would have been hit. So that's why I hightailed it out of there. However, now I have a bush in front of me, blah, blah, blah. You know, I can actually start taking shots at these enemies. They probably won't see me. First target I probably want to kill is probably that Thunderbolt, right? Use a one shot. Always kill the one shots first. It's a, it's a gun out of the game. So I'm probably going to go for him. Also, keep in mind the Thunderbolt does have good armor. So, yes, shooting APCR at him is a good idea. And then, um... Then I want to deal with this light tank who can clip people out. This tank is really OP when it's top tier, so you do need to deal with it. It's in the middle, but it's mostly top tier, so this, this thing is dangerous. Deal with it. Then I deal with him next. So that's the order I would deal with him. That one, that one, then that one. Alright, so you know the Thunderbolt is dead now, and I'm gonna, I should focus on a light tank. And then you'll, you're going to see me look for shots on him. There's You can see through these. Um, just decide which way he's going, then aim there, basically. 
So you see I notice he's going this way, so I'm going to aim towards the other side. I was planning on going up and just killing him, but he decided to turn back around, so eh, it's free damage. They give you free damage, take it. Free damage, took it. And you're going to see here, we already have 1.1k assist damage, we already have 1.2k damage. This is already an amazing game, in my opinion, in this tank, so I already basically did my job, in my opinion, but I'm not going to stop here, right? I'm going to do more. So what I'm going to tell you is look at the map right now. So these heavies are still here. Um, these guys are going to die. He's going to die. Our KV-5 is in the open. He's probably going to die. This guy is probably going to be our next target. If I were me, I would definitely deal with him next. And you can go down and around. There's too many bushes. I'm not using optics, so it's better to climb back up here and then see if I got shots on them from here. Um, that's the best option, in my opinion. Also, uh, we don't know where this guy is. What if this guy is hiding back here and we get spotted and then we get like blasted by him? Like, I don't want to get toasted, right? We see that we own this. Don't always just push around when you don't know it's there. Use what you have. And what we have is this area right now. I know this area is relatively safe. We've already cleared out the OI, so on and so forth. And we know that there's no one in the city. So we might as well go here rather than risking ourselves going here. So this is why I'm deciding to come up and around. Also, do not sacrifice yourself to save artillery. Don't do that. That's stupid. If they want to shoot artillery, then shoot back at them. But don't don't try to like block shots or do anything like that. That that type of stuff is stupid. So if already dies, already dies. It's unfortunate. In my opinion, you have tracks. Use them. You get what I'm saying? Like you put it this way. I like the I like to play the German already in the past. Like before I stopped playing. And those tanks go. They're like big ass barns that go 20 kilometers per hour even worse when it's like on soft ground and stuff and i would still follow the team in my big ass barn so if i'm following the team in my big ass barn i'm pretty sure an m44 can move right or these guys can move so you have tracks pay attention to what's going on if you're in danger get out of danger yeah, so on and so forth And here, if you watch me on stream, I'm like, I'm like, fucking really? <laughs> like, look at this slow. This is basically almost the same as that, except I just can't get up here. It's only slightly sloped more, so I had to turn to the right. Um, do pay attention to the terrain, because when you see these sparks, you don't have grip anymore, unfortunately, due to the revamp physics in this game. And you cannot do anything until your tracks start gripping again. So this is a good way to fall off shit. So, um... Try to keep that in mind that if you see these sparks, you are not in control. Good luck. Alright, so we see these heavies, this IS here. This is bad news for us. Even though he's a one-shot, that is bad news for us. He is an IS. He can AG us and kill us in one shot. He can high roll and kill us in one shot. We don't want to fuck with this guy, right? So keep in mind people's alpha and whether or not you're willing to be aggressive towards him. Still, my target is this guy. He is still my target. And you see I'm spotted here too, right? So, yeah, I got spotted. Um, likely, once again, by him. I believe that IS-3A poked up over the hill, and that's why I was shooting at him. At this point, I'm probably spotted, right? So, once again, I want to kill this guy. He's, like, the biggest threat to me. And you saw how I got spotted after I fired there. That tells me that I was right in my, you know, um, analysis that he was the one that was spotting me. He definitely does have the viewers to spot me from there, so, yeah. Fortunately, he died before we got that kill. Okay, so let's look at the map now. Let's see what's left. So we got a KV-1S. We know he's here. We got IS-3A. We saw him. We got IS-3 here. He's likely still over here. He likely hasn't left. All our allies are still north. We do own the city now. 
So no, looking at this, the only thing that's probably back here, I highly doubt the SU100Y is back here. I'm pretty sure if I were the SU100Y, I'd probably be over here somewhere because we know they're about to push in. So if he's not back here, he's going to be over here. This is where we expect him to be. We know he's not over here because why would you take an SU100Y over here? That's really stupid. Um, so basically, we're predicting that he's going to be in this area. Likely here, but probably in this area in general so we're gonna push this time we're gonna use this hill to our advantage so we can race down this hill and get over there quickly because we can get up to 60 kilometers per hour this is a pretty fast um and mobile tank to show her so we're taking advantage of our mobility here also they might spot other tanks while they're here in the city so they might actually spot this su100y for us too boom told you he's right there like i said i don't remember these games i'm just analyzing them predicting where people are going to be and i predicted he was going to be in this area likely right here and guess where he is he's, he's exactly right there this is the stuff you gain from experience to be able to predict um basically you have to think what are the best plays that the enemy can make and where would i be at so after you become a, a more experienced player you're going to be able to predict where people are going to be and that's how i predicted he was going to be there that's why going around is a good counter because there's a lot of trees and shrubs here so if someone spots him i can definitely shoot at this guy and kill him and take him out of the game And you can see here, looking at my speed, I'm getting up to like 55, 60. So I'm getting a bit above my top speed by going down there. And I can rush over, I can help my KV-5 real quick, and I can start helping to get rid of this guy. Oh, hey, look, there's artillery there too. So, yeah. Um, we're not worried about the artillery, he's not the biggest threat. I'm probably not going to get spotted here. I'm not worried about artillery. If I'm not going to be seen, he's the biggest threat, not artillery. I don't know what this KV-5 is doing. It looks like he's about to die. He did shoot that SU-100Y though. <laughs> he does look like he's about to die though. Yeah, he, there you go. He's dead now. And the AMX crashed. <laughs> nice. Anyways, um, I couldn't tell if I had a shot here, I think. So that was a blind shot. He's a big tank. He's probably still there. Take your blind shots as you see them. Just because a tank disappears doesn't mean it's not there. The model is still there. So take your shot. It's probably going to hit anyway. So yeah, that's how you take blind shots. If you know someone is there, take the blind shot. Um, players who are better than myself, like they can predict where an actual tank will be based off how they get spotted, the most likely position they're in, stuff like that. Um, if you want to know stuff like that, I recommend watching someone like Sircon, Lemming Rush, so on and so forth. Those um, unicorns would definitely help you out there. This, Or you can go watch a streamer. They're in... Um, the ones in the top clans, stuff like that. They're really help you out with um, teaching you how to blind fare. You can watch them blind fare a lot. Or you can watch me. I do blind fare um, pretty often, but their blind fire techniques are like levels above mine. Like I'm a decent player. My win rate is generally like 58% or higher. But like when I watch them play, like I learned so much. Like just their predictions are even, I thought I was good with predictions. And then I watched their gameplay. I'm like, dude, this is why they can three mark tanks easily because their predictions are on point. Like if you want to learn predictions, go watch the best players in this game. You will learn so much, but I, I can just teach you what I can from these videos, right? So um, let's continue. All right, so you see I blind fired that SU-100Y, he's now one shot. We, I do believe we got a high roll because we have 250 alpha, so we did roll high there. The next shot is going to kill him. Um, he's probably not looking this direction, so you know, just finish him off, right? And then here you see this dude blinded himself. You just got shot from this direction, and you stayed there, and you put a bush between me and you. I don't have to be very far to hit. I'm not. I put it like this. If I'm that SU100Y, what I would tell you is I would know that the person who shot me, he is not sitting. I'm not sitting back here, dude.
Like, if you were to predict where I am right now, like, if a unicorn were to predict where I am, they would instantly know that I'm not back here. There is no reason for me to be back here, especially when I just got spotted right here, right? So, the, the, the only way I could be, like, shooting you is if I'm over here in this area. And you see how many bushes and trees and stuff are over here. And you blinded yourself by putting a bush between us, so... Like I said, don't do stuff like that. He died because of his own stupidity there. I am still shooting APCR. That's because the next um, targets are heavy tanks. Okay, so I'm going to flank around. I should probably use this bush or this bush here. And I should start putting um, fire into these guys. Keep in mind, I only have 5 degrees of gun depression as well. So there's only so much I can do. Biggest threat is this guy. He has an auto loader. He'll wreck the team if he gets close to him. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go for low HP tanks first. Um, always take out low HP tanks, take their gun out of the game, and then go for the higher HP. He is the biggest threat here, however, he still has a gun that's firing, he still has a gun that's firing. So if I had shots on either of them, I would shoot them before I shoot him. Also keep in mind two artillerys are still alive, they're probably over here. If I get spotted, they're going to shoot me. I need to not sit in one spot. I'm spotted, I know I'm spotted, he's directly in front of me. My camo does not matter, I need to hit and penetrate this guy. Alright, so we took him out, and now we're looking at this IS-3A. However, artillery, so remember how I said there's artillery in this game? Artillery is in this game, so I have to keep moving. Hey, right, this IS-3A knows that I'm here now. There's no way he's not going to start looking at me and shooting in my direction. He is probably not very happy that I'm here. I guarantee you that. If he is a good player, he is not happy that I'm here. Now, there's a lot of bushes, so he can't see, and IS-3A is a blind tank. So once again, I'm shooting through the bushes and taking advantage of that, right? I don't really know why he was rocking there. That was a bad idea because him rocking like that actually makes this shot against me was pretty lucky because he was rocking and ruining his bloom. So if you are going to shoot at somebody, um, don't rock back and forth in place. Just stop and aim and shoot real quick and then do whatever you want to do. So him hitting the shot was pretty lucky in my opinion. And like, look at where it hit me too. He literally barely hit my tank. He hit me right here. That's why you don't want to, you don't, don't do that. That was a lucky shot that he hit. I wasn't expecting him to hit that rock, rocking back and forth. And this tank literally has 0.44 base dispersion. The best you can get is 0.38. So this tank is incredibly inaccurate. But, you know, Russia. Okay, take note of this. He just got stunned, right? His view range is now crippled. He's already blind, so now he really can't see us. I do want to watch for artillery because artillery can still shoot us. However, I'm not going to be passive. I still want to keep shooting him because we need to keep this pressure on. We need to keep him in this position. Artillery can keep hammering, hammering him. We have a Saints email here. We have a KV2. So we still we can still do stuff here. So let's we're going to stay in this position. We're not going to run away. We're going to try to deal with them. Our T-71 is going to go after artillery as well. So he's going to put pressure on artillery. So that way, this way, we're a little bit more arty safe if he puts pressure on arty. And you see, we're still getting that assist damage too. Alright, here I'm spotted again. Um, this guy looks like he's in an open, so I want to shoot at him. Yeah, he can shoot back at me, but... You know what? At this point, we won this game. There's no way that we lost this game. Even if all three of us were to die right now, he still has to contain with artillery. He's a one-shot for Artie, and he has to deal with this STRV. There's no way in hell these ISs can deal with this STRV. Impossible. They will never see him. Like, that's G. This game is already over at this point because our SCRV is still alive. So, yeah, we're not going to lose this engagement. So, at this point, I'm taking a risk here. If you don't want to take this risk, you don't have to. But in my opinion, I would. That's why I took it. And you can see he's not even paying attention to us. So, delete him. And there we got already. I'm not worried about it. RT71 is going to finish it off. 
All right, so we're ending this game on a high note about 2.3k damage, 1.5k spotting. This was an ace tanker. Um, so it was a pretty good game, pretty well played. Uh, I did burn <laughs> in a ball of fire at the end. So, yeah, you got to watch me explode. Man, these flames look so nice. Like, the HD looks so nice in World of Tanks now. But, um, anyways, that's the game. And um, I do have a few more of these V-players to show from this tank. This tank is pretty fun. It's a stealthy TD. It's really fun to play. I do recommend um, trying out the tier 6 at least, and maybe the tier 7. I'll probably be playing the uh, tier 7 soon. I'm going to try a 3 mark this tank because I really do like it. My average damage per game, it was 1.5 like 40 games, and I was like 1.3. This, this tank is pretty hard to play. You do have to play smartly, as you see. But if you do play smartly, this tank will ward you. It has a lot of penetration, and I believe it has a lot to offer. So, I would, while a lot of people aren't fans of, like, you know, that top tier, so I would definitely recommend trying out the tier 6 and tier 7. So, um, yeah, catch me on the uh, next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos, and catch me on my um, Twitch channel when I'm streaming as well. And that will be in the description below. Thank you for watching.